<sighs> this luggage doesn't belong to me. Well, actually now it does, but it used to be someone else's until they lost it. If you've ever wondered what happens to luggage that never ends up getting reunited with its owner, well, there's a place you can buy it. It's called Unclaimed Baggage, and I've actually shopped their online store. But after that video, there was a lot of skepticism in the comments, and I was also left with a lot of questions. Is this stuff actually lost luggage, or is it just a sales gimmick? And is it actually ethical to be selling people's lost stuff? So there was only one thing for me to do. Actually go to America's only lost luggage store. Located in the little town of Scottsboro, Alabama, this store is massive. As you can see, I was really excited. I'm just really excited. <laughs> If you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that button so that you don't miss out on future fun videos like this and also turn on notifications. So this video is absolutely not sponsored. It was actually my idea to go to the store and I emailed them because I wanted to check to make sure that they were open and I wanted to see if they would even open the store a little bit early, not have a camera on the other customers' faces. And they said yes, and they actually offered to give us a private tour too. I'm so excited to take you on this adventure with me and show you what I found. Jennifer is gonna be answering most of your questions. She's been with the company 23 years. So naturally, the very first thing I wanted to see when I got there is where they sort through all the luggage. I think that's what we all wanna see. We can't take you to that part because it's not physically here. Oh, okay. So we have another operations facility and it's also about 40,000 square feet where we open suitcases. I was so skeptical when she told me that. I was like, no, please don't let this all be fake. But what we have done is we have the baggage experience. We're not doing as much now because it draws a crowd mm -hmm. and we want to be careful with that but where you can actually go through an unprocessed suitcase. They were super thoughtful and actually set up this experience for me to try. It's just how it came in. Ta-da! Tyler, we have socks, some shoes. Those are cool. All right, we have a bath mat. These are the best. <laughs> it like, kind of looks like a teenage boy's bag. Puma t-shirt, some cologne, Givenchy cologne. <laughs> it was really cool to see how they go through things and decide what to clean and sell, what to donate and what to just throw away. Toothbrush and deodorant. So we are not gonna sell used <laughs> toothbrush and deodorant. Those are gonna go straight to the trash. Okay. <laughs> so this is actually a family owned business that was started in 1970. A guy named Doyle Owens took out a loan for 300 bucks, got in his truck, drove up to the Trailways bus stop and bought his first load of unclaimed luggage. One by one, he was able to get exclusive contracts with all of the airlines. And that is how it became the country's only lost luggage store. One of the coolest things about this place is it also doubles as a museum for all of the crazy things that they found in people's luggage. Where are my 80s and 90s babies at? Pobble is one of the coolest things that we've gotten. He is part of the, you know, kind of That's cult amazing. classic um, <laughs> labyrinth movie. Thanks for nothing, Hogwart. Oh, it's Hoggle. And don't say I didn't warn you. He came to us in a suitcase and he is absolutely a Jim Henson puppet. He was actually deteriorating um, probably 10 or 15 years ago. We sent him to a master doll maker in Texas to kind of restore him a little bit. Some of my other personal favorites are these Donnie and Marie Osmond costumes, a giant paper mache Tinkerbell, and these McDonald's arches. Like who was traveling with those? <laughs> Something I saw a lot of in the comments and I was feeling it myself was it makes me so sad that these people just didn't get this stuff back. If your bag goes unclaimed, they are successful over 99% of the time in reuniting you with your bag. And after at least 90 days, the owner of that luggage has been reimbursed by the airlines and that luggage makes it to unclaimed baggage. And I also found it cool that they actually return a lot of stuff to the owners after it makes it to them. They're able to find something personal in the luggage and track it back to the original owner or quite a few people reach out that know of unclaimed baggage because they know it's the last stop. But a third of everything that comes through unclaimed baggage is donated to some really amazing charities. They specifically keep an eye out for wheelchairs, crutches, glasses, and medical supplies. We really do feel like it's our purpose to redeem it, you know, and to give it a second life mm -hmm. and a second mission. That's what makes me feel good about working here. The clothing section. Rooms and rooms of clothing. <laughs> okay, I need a plan. If I don't have a plan, I'm gonna spend $4,000. I'll play. They're $10. <gasps> Look what I found. Please tell me you remember these. There's actually an entire separate building with two levels full of men's stuff. So a lot of our men's casual wear is on the first level. And level two. Wow. And again, these racks are in the process of stocking them. And then the lowest level of that second building is the hunt and dig section or the last chance section. Got the household goods, 
goods, tools and hardware, health and beauty aids. And I guess that's how the store used to be way back in the day. You just have to kind of go dig through stuff. So a lot of the locals and longtime shoppers really like that section. Oh, these are cool. Nail polish kits, socks. I'm surprised there's not more like souvenirs. Oh, this section was a blast. The designer clothes. I discovered apparently there's a brand named after me. Just kidding, but it's $155. And I really wanted to buy this and wear it everywhere and give myself and everyone around me a headache. <laughs> <laughs> but sadly, it was too small. I feel like I should also mention there's a really impressive children's section. I obviously wasn't shopping in that section, but something that I was wondering about because as I was shopping online, I noticed there were several items where there was like multiple of that item. And the question is, well, people weren't traveling with four at the same shirt. And this is called unclaimed cargo. 70% of every Everything in here does come from a suitcase, but 30% of the products here are what we call unclaimed cargo. And those are business to business shipments that go lost or unclaimed. Businesses have insurance on their property, so that merchandise is also available, as well as some just really great opportunity buys. Sometimes we just find something that's a stinking good deal and we know that our Guests will enjoy that, so we'll snag that up. The wedding dress and formal wear section. I don't know why, it didn't even cross my mind that this section would exist, but it makes sense. I think I spent an hour going through this section. Like, where were they going? Probably cruises. I tried not to focus too much on the stories behind these wedding dresses. <laughs> the only thing crazier than the amount of formal dresses they had though were the prices of some of them. Look at this red one. This red dress, $15. I don't know if prom's happening this year, but if it is, somebody needs to get their little bum to this store and buy this dress because it is so beautiful. I tried on some of the wedding dresses just for fun. And we actually did some little photo shoots with some of the unclaimed media crew. The fine jewelry section. Honestly. I think this is the section I was the most excited about. The most expensive thing that we've ever sold here, our price was a $32,000 platinum presidential Rolex. Look at how many people have lost their wedding ring. They actually get everything professionally authenticated. Is that the word? Authenticated. They can't always know the brand that the jewelry is, but they can determine the grade of stone and materials that the jewelry is made out of and price it that way. Last video, I found a beautiful diamond tennis bracelet online and I want to see if they have it. I think it's that one. Wow. Beautiful. This is the most expensive thing you have? Yes. 21? Delivery, 21,000. What yeah. did they price for? Well, um, about 42. Really? They had some super unique, beautiful custom jewelry from all over the world. This lady at the jewelry counter was my absolute favorite. Like you could just tell she loved her job. We talked for so long about all of the jewelry. So if you ever do make it to the store, make sure to go find Pat at the jewelry counter. A lot of their fine jewelry, they have cross posted on their online website. But other than that, the online stuff is a totally different experience than the stuff that you'll find in the store. In the same section, they had a counter in the middle with all of their designer items. Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Chanel and lots of other high-end items that have also been authenticated. The most popular part of our store is our electronics department. So you can find designer sunglasses here, you can find cell phones and Apple devices and laptops and the latest headphones. One of the common questions that people ask is, where's your luggage? That people are oftentimes surprised that we don't have more. But she explained a lot of them come just so gross and so beat up that they end up donating them or throwing them away. And these are like the nice ones. And we only want to sell quality merchandise. Now I have to go buy an unclaimed bag for my unclaimed baggage. 25 bucks. Okay. It can come home with us. See, this must be a really nice one. $250. 25 bucks is perfect. And now to show you what I got. So no, the suitcase and the contents didn't technically belong to just one person. <laughs> Some people were wondering if you can just buy a bag like sight unseen and all the stuff in it and you can't. I don't think you'd want to. All right, here we go. Make sure to watch till the end because I picked out some stuff for you guys while I was there too. I love coats. I already have it, but it's $19. $19.95 for this puffy aloe yoga coat. A year ago, I got the exact coat from the aloe website in red and I paid significantly more for it. That's beautiful. Well, um, I'm gonna keep that for now. Brand new from a brand called Urban Code. That ombre coloring, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Took some fun pictures in this while we were there too. $59. Oh my goodness. Well, what would I rather have? The ombre or the Sherpa? Both is better than not both. 
<laughs> and this, this was also $59. It's from Free People and it's like, goes down past my knees and it's literally like wearing a fuzzy blanket all the time. They had so much Gymshark. Wow. So I got myself some. All brand new. Brand new high-waisted flex leggings for $35. Dreamy Sports brought in pistachio ice cream. I need that color. And I love the Gymshark Dreamy crops. They're like a crop top sports bra hybrid. And I particularly was excited to find this color because it really reminds me of like a lighter version of the Whitney Simmons moss color. Speaking of, <gasps> do you know what this is? I feel like I can't just leave these here. They're $29.99. Yeah, we are not leaving these here. They had a bunch of the stuff from Whitney and Gymshark's first collection. I actually didn't ever get the gray in this top. And then I also found this Athleta shirt for $35. Cute. Oh, we love a little camo moment. Okay, I had every intention of not actually coming home with a formal dress because like, what am I gonna do with it? <laughs> I can explain. I couldn't just leave this there. This dress is an actual piece of art. I put this on, we took some pictures in it and here, is what's crazy. This dress is $12. I don't know, it just, it felt like a crime to leave it there. <laughs> there are a few little rhinestones missing. Two of them actually fell out just on the way to my house, so I should probably figure out where those go. I just can't believe the detail on this. Tyler's not here and I can't actually zip it up all the way by myself, but just, just imagine that it's on. I kind of think it would be fun to like chop it at the knee too. A little new with tags Victoria's Secret night shirt. <laughs> I've actually always wanted one of these, but I didn't want to spend $60 and I could never catch them when they were on sale. So thanks whoever lost this. Okay, in college, I used to buy exclusively used jeans and I still stand by the idea that used jeans are so superior. They're already worn in and like stretched out in all the right places. <laughs> so these are frame denim, which is like a ridiculously nice brand. They were 69 high, perfect fit. So cute. I got this little unclaimed cargo beanie. I just thought the blue was really pretty. $10. Sadly, I didn't bring the tennis bracelet home with me. I didn't get any jewelry, but I did um, have a little bit of fun in the designer section. <laughs> These boots. I didn't even need to know what brand they were. I was just immediately obsessed. They're beautiful and soft and these beautiful, subtle, sparkly stars. They look like they've definitely been worn. So that's like all that's wrong with them. And then I found out they're Valentino. <laughs> they were $249. Brand new suede Valentino boots are like $1,200. For years and years and years, I've been wanting a brown canvas Louis Vuitton bag, but I just couldn't bring myself to spend $1,500. And they had a beautiful monogram canvas bag with big side pockets and I got it. I was pretty happy with this purchase. That's something I've been wanting for a really long time. And their designer stuff like this comes with a certificate that says that it's authentic. Oh yeah, and I got this nice Prada passport holder because my passport was just getting wrecked. And Tyler got a nice Mont Blanc one. Okay, I'm gonna guess 2,000. What's your guess? How much do you think it's gonna be? 3,500. 35. I'd only be like 1,500. 2,065.40. Yes. <laughs> Obviously, based on how much money I spent in this store, I can fully tell you I walked away feeling like this was a company that I could support. As promised, I picked some stuff out for you guys. I got a whole bunch of sizes. So I'm gonna show you all the stuff and I'll have you text me at my number here and let me know your size and the item that you want and I'll pick some of you. I have some black seamless Gymshark leggings in extra small. In small, I have a classic pair of Gymshark Flex leggings, Gymshark Whitney leggings in black, and I already have this top, but I wanted to get one for you guys. It's a small black Whitney Gymshark top. Size medium, I have this long sleeve seamless camo top and a flex sports bra. In a large, I have these black aloe yoga leggings and in extra large, these cropped length outdoor voices leggings. Leo and I picked out some other videos that we think you might like down below. Make sure to check out my first lost luggage haul if you haven't seen that one. And we will see you guys over in the next video. Say bye, YouTube.